Hey there guys, I'm Chris Bowden. And I'm Paul Kidwell. And today we're playing with Mercury. This is not an official Geekert video. We're just screwing around on a Sunday afternoon, but check it out. So the idea is to see if we can make, we've, we've been messing around with stuff here, but we haven't been able to get to work yet. But the idea that we're having is that you can make a homopolar motor using Mercury. I want to I wanna make a Mercury motor because we've just been playing with this and I think I can make it work. So we're going to give it a shot. Check that out. All the stuff you see on there is just cruft from the manufacturing environment that I got this Mercury from. But the Mercury itself is pure silvery color and quite pretty. If anybody out there knows how I can filter that stuff off my Mercury, let me know because I'd like to clean up my Mercury and make it pretty. All right, so let's do some science. Here at the Geek Group, we've invented a new fundraising strategy. You can now purchase impressively tiny coins we've compressed using high-energy magnetism. We induce a current pulse of 100,000 amps into a copper wire coiled around a golden dollar dime or quarter, producing very powerful opposing magnetic fields that compress a quarter to the diameter of a dime, which you then receive in a lovely commemorative package along with the satisfaction that can only come from helping the Geek Group build our endowment, which in turn will allow us to put membership fees, donations, and sponsorships towards furthering the organization rather than just maintaining it. Carry a lightning bolt in your pocket, available at thegeekgroup.org. I'm going to take this out. So what he's doing. Mm -hmm. Okay, so we'll hook this on here. Hey there guys, welcome to today's Captain's Blog. It is Sunday, June, July 1st, 1537 hours. We're hanging out here with the gang. Just lazy Sunday afternoon. And we have a little bit of mercury that we're just playing with. Okay, I gotta get that stable. You need to bend your white wire out. Might so. need a smaller nut. No, it's, it's, it's his, his wire is pulling it over. Mm. No, the nut that he brought out is going to be, be fine. Oh, sure. It'll center. It might not. I've, I don't have a lot of room in here, but we'll be able to see it with the slag. Yeah. Um, all right. Now, Mr. Kidwell, if you would please. There it goes. And it's moving. It's moving a lot more under the slag. You need to position your wires a little better. Hold it on. It's, it's getting warm. It's because there's no current limiting. You can see it moving. It's like the battery very well may be dropping in voltage. Well, from what the battery sees, it's pretty damn close to a dead short right now. Yeah, it is. But I want to... I wanna... Oh yeah, that's roasty toasty. Wow, <laughs> cool. No. How can we yeah. count? How can we count limited? <laughs> if only we had a ton of resistors, like from the demo yesterday. They're all put away. All right. Well, that's a resistor. Okay. Is that thing out DC? Yeah, this yeah, is, it is DC. Great. Right. Well, hook up to the DC. That thing you got to do some current limit. Come on what over you, here. You what do you think this is? Side. All right. Well, rock out. Here, plug that into one side of the DC output. Okay. Go ahead. How many engineers does it take? All right. <laughs> He's sitting there playing around. What's with the deal? I gotta get back to the damn home. Are, are you All right, I got one side of the DC output. Okay, there's the DC output. Power supply's hot. All right, hold on. We're all gonna die. <laughs> now we need to get that. The other side is tied to there. The wire that. Where's the black wire? I gotta have one Joey, from here to here. Joey, yes, that's, wire. that's what I'm saying. All right, saying. we need we need a wire. There's a wire. That ain't. That ain't that's work. not. Can we make that work? No, it's not. It, you the wire. Work. You need you, thicker wire. You stick go. the wire in no, the no, damn no, thing. No, no, no. You use what? You use the right. All right. I'll use the other end. You're a hack. Shut You're up. a hack. Get off the internet. I'm a hack with mercury. Shut up. <laughs> I'm connected. Okay. You sure that's going to work for current limiting? It's a resistor. Yeah, but is it going to resist enough? Well, if it's too not enough, I pull some of the resistors out. If you trip the breaker again, okay. Okay, you ready? Yeah, go for it. Go ahead, you can go. Listen. Ahead.
You sure you're wired up correctly? Yeah, I got I got about twelve. Red volts wire on it. goes to there. It's wired up, right? Are you getting warm? I'm not getting warm over here right now. Oh, that was cool. Is this working? There. Yeah, we got voltage. Mm -hmm. You got to make break. Yep. We've got Kettering points. Got mercury vapor is creating. <laughs> yeah, we're all gonna die now. Okay, go ahead and crank it up a little. Paul, we were doing it on 9 volts before. I'm up to like 20 now, so, you know. Well, we got a big old resistor here. Okay, fine. Turn it down. It's up. It's going to take a couple out. We weren't even getting warm. Let's measure what the current draws across it. If only we had, you know, science. This, oh wait, I took them out there in parallel. This should be more resistance, actually. Well, that's not what we need. No, it's not. I'm not seeing anything. Why isn't it working? You're really certain you're on D That's the DC out. DC control. There's three wires in the circuit. I think we've got this figured out. This is only 40 ohms worth of resistance. Yeah. Which is only two and a half so, amps at well, 120 how much, volts. You can only get what 250 milliamps out of a nine volt. How much can you get out of a nine volt? A little bit. I bet you pull an amp out of a nine volt. No. All right, you ready? <laughs> yeah. Not for long. I'm not seeing any. Wait a minute. I'm yeah. Now I'm seeing. Moving. It's moving. Not very much. Put that all the way down in. It's moving. And this thing's groaning. I'm not getting shit for moving. Okay, now. you're. Um, it's moving, but the slag isn't moving. You can see. I think we got enough slag on the top. Yeah. It's skimmed hang on, over. Hang on. Yeah, you can see yeah, the ripples. Yeah, it's moving. You can see the ripples moving around. It's just the slag is. Don't touch it. I'm going to see if I can make it move enough that we can displace it or something. Well, the, the wire sticking into in it is holding the slag from moving. All right, so we put the wires on the bottom. No, if you can, there's no way. It to... works. We just can't show it working worth a damn in a way that'll show up on the camera. Get a smaller, get a smaller nut. Yeah, give me a really a tiny nut or two or three. Though I don't know if the nut will move. If the nut is down in the material, with all the wire in there, though, it, you, it won't move. It'll get caught on the wire. See it moving. see it turning. It's not very good, but you can definitely see it turning. That helps. There you go. There you go. Oh, that's so cool. I think that might short it out. Short it out? How what the hell did that the sink? The magnet pulled it. Oh, because I'm like, how the hell did that <laughs> sink in there? Like, what the shit? Wait. Yeah, the magnet pulled it down. That, that's not possible. <laughs> Watch this. This will be really cool when I take it away from the magnet. It'll jump to the top. It should, it should float. It's not floating. Well, maybe it's held down now. Surface tension. Now it'll float. Come on. Okay, that was a dumb idea. <laughs> it was a great idea, just a bad plan. Uh, see if you can find a brass nut. Right there. That's not possible. No, that's CAD plate. No. All right, here we go. Here we go. Kidwell, you lean. Which other magnet? The ammo over there. There we go. Weehaw! There, it broke free finally. No, I'm up in the voltage. I know that. We're at like 60 volts right now. That's really cool. Something's changed. You're... 
Uh, it's warm. Yeah, but it's not conducting as good as it was. Yeah, as it, as it well, gets as up, it's going to increase the resistance. Yeah, the resistance over here is changing based on how warm it is. Cool. Well, we proved it worked. My idea worked. You can make a motor out of mercury and a magnet. I feel better now. And that's a homopolar motor out of mercury and a magnet. So, how, how, where are we at on time on there? One minute left. Okay, now just because all the people are going to freak out if I don't do this, watch. This is real elemental mercury. You'll notice there's no cuts or anything in my hand. There you go. That's that's the real deal. It's so much fun to play with. Don't call that quicksilver for nothing. Yeah, this this is real mercury. Do not try this at home. Wow, that's heavy. It feels so cool. So there you go, real mercury. It's all back in the thing. So we're gonna go put this back in the vault. You guys have fun. I'm Chris Bowden with the Geek Group, and as always, we'll see you next time. I learned how to run a machine shop. Set up an enterprise level server. Program nine foot robots. Make lightning. Edit video. I'm building a radio station. Light bulb terrarium. A high performance electric car. I'm a CNC geek. Computer geek. Robot geek. Physics geek. AV geek. I'm a radio geek. Craft geek. Car buff. No matter what kind of geek you are, we've got a place for you here at the Geek Group. Come join us. We build awesome.